And my screen definitely went underground. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's even watching the stream anymore, but uh, that made me scare. <laughs> scared. Yep, confirmation for reddits. I don't know what happened. Or where I am. Okay, so I just rolled a series of attacks and rolled the damage and did 34 points of damage in one round. Some of it was necrotic because way of no mercy. And that's in 50. Yeah, no, that, that definitely sounds I... like 5th edition. Where, like, I, I'm, over, I'm like, okay, my level 10 gunslinger and pathfinder can hit like 300 plus damage and change before i roll dice and i'm rolling something along the lines of like 45 d12s and 45 d6s phantasma did you really have dampeners on that thing no i i mean I, dampeners i believe are on by default but the thing shouldn't be working everything. because it's all hydrogen thrusters and there's no hydrogen <laughs> Gentlemen, I insist that you watch the a clip that I will upload later. <laughs> uh, it's still going. Although apparently even if the uh, streamed campaign does not see fruition, apparently my characters can be used for some other project, which sounds like a mystery, and I'm down for it. <laughs> you can use characters for whatever you want, like, they're not really locked oh, yeah. in. Yeah. My my current DM that, I, that I'm, like, going to go to uh, now, uh, the... They're, like, I've been using that campaign to flesh out the characters for the streamed campaign. And he's been in so impressed with my characters that he wants me to write characters for a game that he's working on. <laughs> oh, hey, it's rolling Which back is... towards me, file, finally. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Bye, guys. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Hopefully I'm awake earlier next week. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. Did that just kill you? Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Wait, did the Mago did you self a building on yourself? <laughs> no, uh, even worse. No. I was murdered by a pair of flying vehicles that were flying <laughs> by virtue of being attached to each other. Guys, I'm following oh, after no. just so I could show you guys the clip. I cannot possibly stop this mess. I, I don't know if it's running on Juice or if it's running on like... No, it's running on Clank. It, yeah, Midoro is asking. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. DM me that clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bye guys. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> no, okay, so it was unfortunate that Dexter laughed. Uh, Reddit asked me to, um, ask you, Razor, to explain your Mandalorian that you made for Lion's uh, stream game. Oh, oh yeah, I, I made a dude, because Lyons was going thing and he goes, Hey, I need somebody that could potentially solo a group of people this level to level to whatever, right? And I was like, okay, uh, like, I need, I'll need some books, can you lend me some books? So he lent me some books, and within like a day or two, I basically had this dude ready to go, where it was a uh, uh, basic Mandalorian. Uh, it was a, that one of those, that construct race, I don't remember what they're called. Um, but it was a construct race. I made him like, I don't remember how many levels of ranger and how many levels of row, but basically what happened was, uh, he's trying to get back this person that the party basically kidnapped thinking they're doing the right thing and they're not necessarily doing the right thing. Um, and having watched several of the streams before they were doing, I was like, oh my God, they're just stupid. So... <laughs> Uh, had to make this dude basically in order to punish stupidity and be able to absolutely manhandle them like children. So what he could do was uh, he had a gun. I think gun in air quotes. I basically took a uh, what was it? It was a like a war bow from 5th edition stats. 
and I like kind of skinned it so it's a gun. Uh, so I could use the item and magic bullet, which basically, or named bullet, which basically, um, uh, what the fuck does it do? Uh, it does the same thing that Bane whatever does in Pinder, so it, it adds damage, and then it adds dice damage, and then it adds the hit, uh, bonus. Um, if I recall but, correctly, Bane added, like, I want to say it was, like, plus two to hit, and then plus two d6 damage, or something like that? So some, some shit like that, but it's, it's, it's like the fifth edition version of Bane. So it's not quite the uh, the same thing, uh, but it basically does that. So, and then the subclass of rogue that I had him was Hitman. Uh, so it basically this thing where it goes, oh, at the beginning of the day, if he spends some time basically going over information about whatever target he's picking, um, he can uh, apply full sneak attack damage. And then there was like some other stuff that I had where it was like, oh yeah, um, if he sneak attack, if he manages to successfully sneak attack in the surprise round, it's an automatic crit too. So I had this dude who had a passive perception higher than what they could really accomplish via stealth in any reasonable uh, amount. His stealth was higher than all of their uh, basically best passive perception. Um, he had a bunch of uh, ranger abilities that really only helped with getting away and him specifically punishing them. So, like, he had uh, a magic spell that made it, it so that he couldn't be trapped <laughs> by any means. He had Where did the a other spell one launch? Way over there. Oh, you see the antenna? <laughs> oh, what did you do to that? I got in it, uh, which changed the mascot <laughs> equation. I. I I was trying to do that, but I was, uh, a little too scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have to show you the video later. It's longer than I would like, but the thing of flipping around for quite a while to get up crater 